great cities have iconic projects. This is really that iconic project in Atlanta. Pot City Market is taking an eyesore and transforming it into something that is going to be aesthetically pleasing and, and making it into what Atlanta should stand for as the capital of the Southeast, which is revitalization and renewal. It's a landmark for the neighborhood and it has been a landmark historically. My excitement as neighborhood president is getting back to that landmark status. There's a long history of engaging the mind and exciting people in an amusing sort of way. There's a natural spring under the building which was at one time considered to be the fountain of youth. In addition, there was an amusement park on this site in the original Georgia Crackers baseball stadium. Sears constructed the original building in 1926, and the building was so wildly successful that they added on to it three times. You have this incredible two million square foot building, a historic structure, and now we've brought it uh, into the hands of an amazing partner in Jamestown that's really going to turn it into one of the most dynamic mixed-use developments uh, in the southeastern region of the United States. The plan is to redevelop the property into about 300,000 square feet of retail, about 400,000 square feet of office, and about 250 residential units. In the midst of all of this, you're going to have the Atlanta Beltline, which is our effort to expand a green space and connectivity in the city of Atlanta. We will have light rail connectivity. We will have bike paths, walk paths, all near uh, the Punt City Market. The plan is to create a green carpet effect so that pedestrians who are in the park can actually enter in and continue that green space. And as you look up, you'll see a historic rail trestle. Beneath that, you'll be surrounded on three sides by dynamic retail space. In the 28 years of Jamestown, we focused on really best-in-class food purveyors with butchers and florists and bakeries, a one-stop shopping experience for cooking dinner at home. One of our favorite models is Chelsea Market in New York. It couples not just this very professional Class A loft office, but also puts it together with this bustling food hall with all of its energy and all of its momentum. You know, people don't want to live in their father's uh, houses and they don't want to work in their father's office buildings. They want this new dimensional, more interactive, more socially relevant, sustainable work environment. We don't throw away anything. We're actually going to reuse it as art and sculpture around the site. We're trying to create this marriage between the old and new. If there's one key thing we've learned at Chelsea Market, people want it to be authentic and raw and real in a way that makes them feel like they're on a bit of an adventure. Ponce is, is in a cool part of town, uh, in a city that is attracting more and more young people. What's happening in the neighborhood near Pont City Market is growth and excitement. We're working on taking advantage of the amazing views from the roof with different amenities, both for the public and for people who work in the building and live there. On the east roof, we'll have our jogging track for our fitness center. And this space here, actually a glass roof that we'll build to create a rooftop pool. You can even see a miniature golf course on the northeast corner. When you hear office brokers talk about what their clients are looking for, one of the number one things you hear is amenities, and even more so, some sort of community. In the past, you might ask, well, why would you ever go to this building? And I think in the future, with what Jamestown has planned for this, to me the question would be, why would you ever leave? Atlanta's been very good to all of us, and we've had great success in our ventures there, and we know what needs to be done, and we've had a lot of history doing it in other markets, and doing it here feels like the right thing to do.